This video shows how to create a subquery in Microsoft Access. What you see here is an example uh, with a main query, and like this one, what you see in this field is uh, products, components, and all that stuff. And there's a multiple uh, word filter running on this. So uh, I, when I filter here by just by typing, uh, show me all sentences where there is the word uh, radar <coughs> and video, for example, or current. Then here cur there's current and current uh, currently maturity level, for example. <coughs> so we have a multi-word filter, and now sometimes we want a sub-filter, which means uh, um, <coughs> this products list has um, sub-functions, functions like uh, what, what what this product. Um, has uh, the, the properties or functions, additional functions which it, it has, and uh, this is uh, multi functions. So <coughs> we have here the products itself, and then we have uh, product functions. So the product A has several, uh, several um, functions. So this is for uh, junction assistant. I don't know the English word for this is um, distance control, <coughs> and um, what we want to do here is we want we want to ask our system when we have a list by a thousand uh, results here, then we want also ask give me the sub something where this uh, functions is, is uh, for example only this uh, uh, this assistant. So we when I type in here assist. Then the now uh, the, this assistant is assistant is in both systems. Let's take here something else. Two types. Uh, let's take this one. Two types. So when I type here uh, um, assistant, there's the assistant. Yes. When I type assistant, then the system um, creates a new subfunction and it, it checks there for this assistant here in there. And in the other uh, sentence, in the other result, main result, this there was no assistant. <coughs> so, how does this work? When we have a look now, assistant should check for that one and also. Let's take this. This the other word was abstent. Okay, <coughs> assist. Now, when we want to know what happened there, is then we go here to our uh, form layout tool here, um, and we can uh, have a look straight in the resource <coughs> row resource of that stuff. Then we will see there is here. This is uh, show me all. Uh, lines or if, if uh, fields sh as rows written in our uh, in our list what we see saw there are columns columns in our list before there now this is the filter the regular filter where I say okay wherever the word radar is uh, coming uh, in <coughs> so if it's here here and here and here and here and here if it's somewhere there it's all connected or joint connected but like this way now quite simple simple stuff and I connected it straight said okay product line component wherever this word happens should the result be there and then now comes the subquery subquery means where the product itself uh, exists in my or is a result or comes uh, as a result in my in a subquery, this is the subquery. I will we will have a list a, um, a view on that stuff later. But let's take like this. <coughs> we make a zoom. Now there's a. This is the uh, complete sub uh, sub list, and. We we check against that stuff in this way that we would say okay uh, 
the ID product has to be a result in here. And the result in here is a, that's a, a function, uh, a, a query. Uh, let's create a new query. And inside the query, we may say, okay, show me that <coughs> stuff. Design view. Um, it's always difficult. Syntax error. Uh, the, this this stuff is not uh, accepted in here. Here. In there, sub, sub queries are normally not not uh, possible. In yeah, it's as you see there. This is not. This doesn't work in the design. Not this is. Uh, it's it's complex. Now we have this one. I I added only one sub query. And this one sub query said, okay, uh, wherever this product, the product uh, is coming of this. There might be a very complex uh, subquery, and wherever this product matches there, will be a result. And so we have to write it like this. I go now to my <coughs> uh, my entry field. So we, when I he have here my entry field, and I said, okay, here are my properties, my event on the key up event refresh that line th that list so refresh that list by the actual text word we have in our field uh, there <coughs> now first i say okay <coughs> we had it in the last example uh, first check which text was entered in the first field and in the second fi search field and uh, however it is, um, give fill this uh, memory, uh, this marker, um, this this variable. <coughs> so this is if somebody types in here something, take uh, take the text property and take here the value property. That's what's the difference. When you are straight in a field and have the the focuses there, you may get the the value. Uh, you, you may take the text itself here it's the text and that's the text which you entered ac actually and the value is the stuff which is uh, which was entered before uh, and it's not the actual value it's the value which is in the field and when you type something then you have the text uh, the running text inside in there and uh, and finally, finally, you will get the text will result into the value. But okay, that, that's the first block. That's an init block. So give me those very fill me those variables. And in the first point, we say okay, select all fields. That's what we that's what we saw in our uh, query from that uh, table. And now I said okay, take uh, first filter uh, for the products. So this is a loop filter. Uh, take all, check for all those fields. That would that's the same what we saw there. And finally, we say we will say re, uh, kill the first end and replace it later with a where. So select fields from table where this is uh, this filter uh, conditions. And then we said, okay, if there is additionally something in the functions, then create a sub function. And in the sub functions, we said, okay, here this is the field. The what we saw there is it's uh, written. In this case, with a uh, combined with an end or with an or. Then we said, okay, create me a f uh, make a loop always with an end. If this ID is in uh, it is select uh, subquery, if the ID product is in a subquery where the first field is the ID product from uh, from a query, which means from table inner join table on on. So this is the connections, and finally where there's a function with a like with a like where this word happens. And then loop, 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 and finally at the end, we would say, okay, uh, 
replace that stuff by um, uh, add, add this complete function string to the uh, entire string and then finally uh, throw it to the row source and then the list will be automatically uh, refreshed. So this is, means when you type something in here, assistant, as soon as you type something there, then the list, uh, the result will be written in this row source. So the record row source was the field, row source, yeah. And it's always the same same stuff which happens there. Important for for me was that you will find this way of working here that you have a main list with some filters and inside there in that filter you create create a subfilter which uh, pretends on contains of the ID of uh, an ID number from that sub list uh, sub query and in the sub query there's the only one field select ID in there and maybe you take the top one then you may uh, then it means you can run it with exists if you have multiple results then take the in there so I hope and uh, we will run this I will upload my stuff in my document here are my code docu. You will download it. Be be able to download it there. I will uh, take that file as a zip file in my website.